Oh yeah, that's good tea. But it's not nearly as good as the Word of God. <clears throat> no faith, little faith, lots of faith, great faith, faith of God, mountain-moving faith. Why should I have to have faith? Because Jesus is Lord, and if you made him the Lord of your life, then you're going to believe what he's saying here in his word. I closed yesterday talking about the disciples were so overwhelmed by the circumstances and the fear that Jesus said this in verse 40 of Mark chapter 4. He said, why is it, are you so fearful? Well, let me read it. Why are ye so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? No faith as a result of fear. Now, gas and oil won't mix. I mean, uh, gas and water, oil and water, they won't mix together. They'll separate. Oil and vinegar, if you make that on your salad, they'll separate. You can shake it, the bottle up and make it kind of uh, emulsify for a little bit. But, you know, by the time you pour it on your salad, it starts separating. Fear and faith can't, can't coexist together. You're going to be in one or the other, but you can't have both. Don't teach your children to fear. I mean, I've had people say, I won't teach my children to fear. Oh, no, teach them to have faith. So Jesus said, why are you so fearful? See, he had told them, we're going to the other side. Now, there's a great storm, and they're, they're sinking. The boat's full of water. Jesus is asleep in the back part of the boat, and I love this, because he knew that his words was going to get them to the other side. Now, watch. The boat is a way across the water, but it's not the only way across the water to the other side. The word was the way to the other side, but they let fear come in so that they didn't take charge. They wanted God to deliver them. Well, everybody needs to be delivered. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. But Jesus said you don't have faith when you're looking to him. Get me out of this mess. You ought to get out of it yourself. We got a bunch of memes, a bunch of weak, puny, useless Christians. Pastor, will you pray for me? Well, sure, I'd be glad to pray for you. Pastor, I'm so sick. No, I'm so healed. You know, like somebody wrote me a little note the other day on Messenger and said something about the problems that they were having. I said, well, rebuke them. Get rid of them. Jesus rebuked the wind. He didn't let the wind control their circumstances. The disciples said, Lord, don't you care? We're about to go under. We're about to perish. No, Jesus got up, rebuked the wind. Peace be still. Then he called for something that was not. Now, I've told you this lots of times. Your words are with power. Faith operates by words. You go out in the morning, the dog's not there. You don't go, oh, no, the dog's gone. You go, your dog, you call him, and the dog comes. Because you call the dog, you don't talk about him being gone. If you can do that with your dog, you can sure enough do it with healing. Get up one morning, healing's not there. <whistles> Come here, healing. <whistles> Come here, healing. Healed by the stripes of Jesus. You belong to me. Hey, listen, my dog has a tendency to run off. Uh, and I said, you belong over here. You're my dog. Don't let him stay at the neighbor's house. Don't let your healing leave and stay at somebody else's house. Dear old Lord, go get it. It belongs to you. You have every right to it. So, you know, when it's not there, you go, come here, come here, healing. Come on to me. Don't go to Jesus and say, did you forget that I was here? No, he didn't forget you was here. You forgot what he said. Watch out. You see, I made this glass of tea. It will not do me one dab of good unless I partake of it. I'm going to do that again because I want y'all to get my tea. I made it. <coughs> I'm sitting in my RV. We took a couple of days off. My tea. I made it. Mine. I'm going to enjoy it, but I got to drink it. I got to partake of it. Watch. Did you get that? It won't do me any good to sit over there on the counter. Won't do me any good to sit in the glass unless I partake it. Now watch. Healing belongs to me. It's mine. Jesus paid for it. Jesus bought it. Hit with his stripes, I was healed. He took all of my sicknesses and carried my diseases, but it is now mine, and I'm not going to let it depart and be gone and then go, oh, Jesus, did you forget that I was around here? No faith is going to him whining and begging and pleading and, and hoping maybe he feels sorry for you and will get you out of that. He said to the disciples, why is it that you have no faith? In other words, he was, I, I don't like to use the word upset because, you know, that might get you upset at me, but what I'm saying is he was said, why didn't y'all take care of that? 
He called it no faith because they were moved by the fear of all the natural circumstances around them. And then they went to him and said, hey, don't you even care? We're going to die out here. No, they're not going to die because Jesus said, watch. Jesus said, we're going to the other side. Well, he also said, watch. By his stripes you were healed. Himself bore your sicknesses, carried your diseases. He sent his word and healed them. So I'm not going to die. I'm not going to stay sick. I'm going to come up healed. Somebody says, well, you know, God's got that. Hey, don't leave it up to God. A lot of times we, we think, well, we're being real spiritual here. We're leaving it up to God. When actually what we're doing is being a little bit dumb and not taking our rightful authority and saying, no, 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 not going to do that. Are you listening? <clears throat> Why is it that you're so fearful and you have no faith? Fear of the natural circumstances that's around you will cause you not to have any faith. I'm going to say it differently. It will cause you not to have no faith. And Jesus is saying, why, Frank, didn't you have faith and didn't you handle that situation when it should have been your job to handle the situation? And just like I'm going to partake of what's given to me, I am going to partake of everything that's in that book, everything, every promise that's in the book. I'm going to have it. I'm not going to do without it. I got to go have faith in God, mountain moving faith. And until I'm with you tomorrow, remember all day, yeah, the tea's good, the word's good, but remember Jesus is Lord. Thank God. God, the word works.